happening right now. A U.S. Coast Guard cutter out on the Connecticut River today trying to chip away at all the ice that's built up in these frigid temperatures. News 8's Noel Gardner joined the Coast Guard on one of those ships today to show us how it's all done. The U.S. Coast Guard breaks up the ice to relieve the pressure on the banks and the rivers during the winter. We are riding along with the U.S. Coast Guard on the Cutter Baller. The Coast Guard is conducting an ice-breaking operation on the Connecticut River. This ship was commissioned in February of 1967, and this month she's 48 years old. The Bollard is breaking up massive chunks of ice. This ship can cut 12 inches of ice continuously. And that does several things. It will protect the personal property that property owners have on the banks of this river with docks and piers, and also will prevent ice jams, which will could potentially create flooding on the river. The Bollard weighs 70 tons and is able to slice right through the ice. Today we're breaking ice, but it's much part of a much bigger Coast Guard effort known as Op Renew, which stands for Operation Reliable Energy for Northeast Winters. And that's the Coast Guard's region-wide effort to ensure that the Northeast communities have the supplies, security, energy, and emergency resources they need throughout the winter. Crews are out here a few times a week cutting ice, trying to keep up with it before it gets even thicker. We started breaking ice this season in January, and we had about two solid weeks of ice breaking here on the Connecticut River, and we had a kind of a warm spell, and it's since refrozen, so that's why we're back out here again today. Ice breaking is a 10 hour day and during the course of the day, the crew constantly inspects the ship. So the crew of the Coast Guard Cutter Bollard consists of six people, including myself. And we're working we're around ice breaking. We're, every person is working around the clock. The U.S. Coast Guard will continue ice breaking until the end of ice season, which is forecasted to be mid-March. On the Connecticut River, Noel Gardner, News 8.